In the last uh, video, I tore down a Lidl door alarm and mentioned um, that I might remove the MCU and replace it with one of my own. Um, so my first thought was to use uh, an LPC810, which is an ARM Cortex M0 MCU. Uh, it comes in an 8-pin DIP package. Uh, it's got about 4K of uh, program space. Um, so this would probably be good enough for this application, but I find 4K is a little bit constraining. And also, um, given that there's eight pins, that means well, two are reserved for power, so that leaves six. But while developing, I also want to have access to the uh, serial wire debug port. So that means I've really only got four pins left for the application, which um, is probably not sufficient. So I'm going to use instead the uh, LPC812, which is the, the LPC810's bigger brother. Um, uh, this guy has uh, 16k of uh, program space and uh, a lot more pins, in fact too many, but better have them and not need them than, than to be wanting them. Um, so my thoughts are to uh, glue it on here and uh, then link up the pins of the MCU to the um, the pads on the PCB using very thin, uh, something like 30 AWG wire. It's a technique called uh, dead bugging. So to remove the um, MCU, I'm going to use a substance called uh, chip quick. Um, what this is, um, it's a very low melting point uh, solder. Um, it, it melts as, as in as little as uh, th um, 60 degrees Celsius. So the idea is that you, um, you apply the solder uh, to, to the pins and run the soldering iron up and down along the pins and the solder then remains molten long enough for you simply to, to lift off the chip with um, a tweezer or something like that. So um, we give that a go. Uh, first, um, some flux is applied. And uh, now for the uh, chip quick alloy. Going to use some uh, solder braid now to clean up the um, residual solder. Okay, I think that's, uh, that's an okay job.
Right, my hack is almost complete now. Um, so I've got uh, the uh, serial wire debug hooked up to a LPC link probe uh, so that I can upload firmware and uh, debug. So I've written a very simple program that uh, detects the status of the read switch and if the magnet is removed it'll send a square wave uh, to the uh, piezo buzzer. It'll, it'll drive a square wave, low voltage square wave drives this um, uh, transistor here which um, through the uh, transformer will send a high voltage um, signal roughly 100 volts peak to peak to the piezo, uh, piezo buzzer and uh, the resulting audio is loud very loud in fact I'm wearing ear protection because it is painfully loud um, this probably won't come across on the audio on the video but um, trust me it is loud so I'm going to remove the magnet now There we go. Um, so I guess the next step is a little bit of tidying up and um, writing some firmware for this.